after a couple of losses today we've got two must win games to stay in touch with top of the table um also the club's brought in a few new players again i haven't made any transfers this is purely what the club has done so let's roll the intro and find out who's here shall we in the heart of northern italy lies a town steeped in footballing history Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with us, some players have come in. Um, all players that come in in the real world. So the first player is Panetri Terry Panetri, who is a right slash left winger. Could play as a striker as well. Three star current ability, three and a half star potential ability, and he's coming from Crotone um, in Serie C, uh, so in our league. Um, next, we have from Keramonsi Daniel Gray, who's a left back, sorry, right back, three star current ability, four and a half star potential ability, 21 year old. He's coming on loan, um, let's say, from Criminese in Serie B. He's uh, okay. I don't think he's ever going to make it to be good, per se. Next, we have this guy, Raphael Anunzita, Anunzita who's a... One and a half star current ability, two and a half star potential ability, centre back, who's coming on a free. Um, I'm still puzzled why anyone would want him as a club. He is awful. And I think he's, yeah, he's straight in the under 20s and we'll probably sell him in the summer and never see him again. Next, we have Mast. Rand Davide. Next we have Davide, who's an Italian 20 year old goalkeeper. He ain't actually quite good. Three and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. He's come in from Roma on loan. Luis Rojas has also come in from Cron. Croton, uh, three star current ability, four and a half star potential ability, attacking midfielder, 21 year old Chilean. He's looking all right, actually. I think he's got potential to be something. Um, lower league, he's, he'll do. Uh, Olaf next in, Olaf. Kozlowski, two star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. He's coming on loan from Dender in. Be oh no, he's coming from Tristina in our league on loan. And it's quite worrying that he's that good and he's coming on loan. But he's got good first touch. He's only 18, so he's got the chance to become something. Decent ish. Um, he's clearly not good enough at the moment. So, again, why we loaned him, I do not know, but we did. And next, then we have Pinzi from Fermana. He is a two and a half star current ability, five star potential ability right winger. 
Um, he's 20 years old. He's got lots of determination. He's okay. Nothing special. Um, obviously, we're loading him from another Serie C side. He... He's one of those players where on a free you'd take a punt, but you wouldn't pay for him, I think. So they're the players in. There's been a few players out, um, but nothing major. So that leaves us with the schedule. So since the last game, we played... Lenargo and we won 3 1 with Camera getting a brace and Maggio on the score sheet. Then we played Navarra and unfortunately lost 1 0. Um, poor game. Just poor, poor game. And then Trento we came and we beat 2 0, but again, we weren't playing particularly well. Um, I think we just outlasted them in the fitness because Maggio. Got two goals and then one in the eighty first and one in the eighty six, which leaves us today to face Vicenza and Pro Sesto. And the team to face Vicenza is Sassi in goal, Lezzi the camera, Perodi and Rodeo at the back, Rojas and Sinatro in midfield, with Maggie, Spavwan and Mustachio behind Farias up top we're just resting nappy um nappy he's played a lot of games so uh yeah we are just resting him oh, that's better well Cup of coffee on the go. I'm just checking that we are recording, and we are. I've made that mistake, and I don't want to make it again. It's not the best mistake ever to make. So we're in our strange stripey one, and here is... We're not in stripes, surely. We're in the red kit, aren't we? Yes, we're in our red kit. Ferreira's Maggio plays it back to Lezzi. Lezzi plays it back to Rojas. Rojas, the new boy, just wide. Unlucky there. Yes, we're in our lovely red kits. Um, as we we've fallen a little bit behind. The two teams at the top. Fingers crossed, though, we will um, be able to to do something. Here is Mustachio, who's got the captain's armband on. He plays it in towards the, our strikers, but unable to find anyone. And now Vicenza are on the break with the call, but Lezzi's Got it, the camera. Plays it back to Sassy. Rojas unfortunately loses out and it's in for Morte. Balls. Big, fat, hairy ones. That is not what we want just before half-time. Um, I think we bring Nepi on for Mustachio and swap. So, Farias is out wide. Our main boy's on now to get the goals, hopefully. We can't afford to lose another one because that then puts us further behind the top. If we're 
looking to finish in the top, I suppose. But, you know, I don't think we are this first season. We're supposed to be in the playoffs. I think this season is where we do get to the playoffs, see what happens. But the main bulk of the building will be done in the summer. So it'll be interesting to see what we do next season. But we do need to make some changes. Things aren't quite going how we want. Maggio looks like he's picked up a knock again. Pinza coming on in ball winning midfielder. Hamza coming out on the left. Uh, Spav one's dropping back to midfield. And Contaldo is coming on as well. Um, uh, and Frey's going to come on at right back as we go attacking as well, freshen things up. We are going to demand more. Can we get a late goal? It's coming into the 82nd minute. We're going to go very attacking now just to try and get any kind of highlight. But it looks like they've held out. But here is Freya's parody oh, off the post. But it's offside as well, so it's not going to count, unfortunately. We lose to Vicenza. We're going to thrash the arms, see them in training tomorrow. It's not good enough. I'll go away and lick my wounds, and I'll see you in a second for the second game. So the team to face Pro Sesto is Sassy in goal, with Lezzy the camera, Parodi and Rodeo at the back, Rojas and Santoro in midfield, with Farias, Hamza, Mustachio behind Nepi up top. Maggio's picked up a slight knock, so I don't want to risk him. Same with Luti. Slight knock. No point in risking him. Let's get cracking, shall we? This squad is massive for compared to what I normally would have. So I'm hoping we can potentially get a little bit of money. It won't be much, but for next season... Um, and then hopefully we can push up towards the top. If we're already there, we'll keep a few players, I I'm guessing. I won't replace everyone unless uh, we can find really good players. We're scouting players that are going to be out of contract, young players as well. So hopefully you're getting in all the scout reports at the moment. Um which we can then progress on. And Nepi has put one in, but it's offside. Just offside. And that's what we want to see. Nepi is the goal scorer at the moment. And we need him to push forward. But... Again, it looks like we're under the cosh a little bit. And here come Pro Sesto. We're pushing them back, though, so fingers crossed. There's nothing going to come of it. But we know what happens with these long highlights. It was in... I think FM 17, 18, something like that, where you used to get the long highlights end in a goal. And after this January patch, it seems like it's happening again. But for that one didn't, remarkably. Oh, we try and play it back to Hamza, but the ball is cut out, unfortunately. And then cleared, but Leslie's going to pick it up. Can Leslie find the ball in? All the big boys are still up there. 
And Freyas has got hold of it here inside the pedal there, swaps it back to Reyes. Oh, and Roas just over the bar. So I need to talk about Leicester City. Um, the Premier League and Championship are currently, they've put it over to an independent investigator for them breaking FFP. Now, I'm an Ipswich fan, and as an Ipswich fan, as a Leeds fan, as a Southampton fan, um, you need the points deduction, surely, to come in this season, because that will strongly affect the table. Um, I mean, if they lose four points, that puts Leeds and Ipswich both above them, and Southampton within touching distance. Um, so, you know, if they lose in points, that, that could have a big impact into the championship and the teams that go up. And I think if they're found to, you know, they should speed up this process so that when guilty clubs are guilty, they lose that season. And if the points deduction doesn't come till say next season and Leicester go up through automatic promotion then the team out of the top four be it Leeds, Leicester, Leeds Southampton or Town um, that then lose out because of that I think's bad and you know the the likelihood is Leicester would be still in the playoffs, but then two of the four, you know, could potentially have been automatic promotion rather than going into the playoffs. Um, and I think if you're Leeds or Ipswich especially, you, you're going to be a bit peeved if Leicester win the league and are under investigation and nothing happens from that because um, you're doing things the right way. And as a town fan, I know that we're really strict on following FFP and um, doing it the right way. And we're still able to compete Oh, what a goal from Ferriaz. Oh, ho, ho. well done there, my son. That was beautiful. Free kick in between the wall. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and we've gone and done it. So we are going to make some changes now as well, um, as we've got some players that are tiring. Rojas needs to come off so the fray can come on there. Uh... Poutini is going to come on for Lezzi. Sonato is going to come off. And we're going to bring Merlo on. Are we better that way around? We're going to keep him that way around, I think. And Ferreira's is coming off. And Panda Panitari is going to come on. Kind of want to bring Selena on. What's the time? Seven. We're going to leave it there for now. And we might bring Selena on for one of the centre backs. Um, probably the camera. Um, in a bit. In a, about 10 minutes. 5 10 minutes. So, yeah. Um, it's, you know, I. It probably won't happen till next season. And then, like I say, the two team or the team that loses out is going to feel pretty damn hard done by, um, in my view. So I think clubs, you know, is FFP a good thing? Yes and no. It's, it's done poorly at the moment um, where teams that, go up are almost double penalised from it um, but at the same time it's a good thing um, hopefully it stops the 
Manchester cities of the world from inflating their incomes. I mean, Chelsea have now pretty much stopped to some extent, he says, after they spent a billion pounds, but they're not doing it as much as they were. Um, Manchester City look like they're going to get heavily done. I personally think that with 100 plus FFP financial things broken, they should be relegated out of the Football League, but um, make an example of them. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. So we are going to come back for Padova and Renate in the next episode. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I have spoken.